Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're looking at pitch bend, how to manage it, uh, because I've got a broken pitch bend wheel on my controller. I have an older video on resetting pitch bend, because that's kind of a whole thing. You can click this info card here or link in the description to go see that video. This is a little bit different. So what I have here is since one on a track and I'm gonna play a key and I'm gonna move the MIDI controller and you'll hear that the pitch bend doesn't go the way it's supposed to. It's just not quite right. It's not smooth up and down the way it's supposed to be. Now we can monitor what is actually happening there by adding in the re-control MIDI plugin in front of the, uh, the synth. You go to show log. You can see here the pitch bend, I'm not even touching that right now, but it's, it's moving on its own. So channel pressure was me pushing the, the key harder, but the actual pitch bend, it doesn't reset to the center. And if we enable the control change for pitch wheel, you can see it doesn't always reset to the center. I haven't been able to figure out how to fix that yet in the actual hardware. Someday I will get to it. Uh, but for now, I just need a solution to solve the problem. One solution I had was to automate this. So I take that parameter there. I enable it for uh, show track envelope. I set this to read automation. I'm pretty sure that now pitch bend won't do anything. It won't send pitch bend to the synth anymore. So now I have no pitch bend and I would have to write it if I wanted a pitch bend, I have to write it in the track. That's read control MIDI, enabling it for automation, and then just making sure it's at zero on the automation lane. That will disable your input pitch bend wheel. So now I'm going to add in this other uh, JS effect. And this is a new one, and it comes with repack it's part of the re-team bundle, Pitch Wheel Control Center. So you can put this before your synth, or you can actually put this on your input effects chain. And sometimes I do that so that uh, I don't have any pitch commands in my actual recorded MIDI. So you can put this on the track effects before your synth, and then you can manipulate the pitch bend commands with this plugin, or you can put it on the input effects and then your recorded MIDI, anything on the input is automatically adjusted or corrected. So for the sole purpose of disabling pitch bend, it's really simple. You just change the output range up and output range down in semitones to zero. So I set this to zero. Play my synth. And now it can't go up or down if I bypass it. And it's all over the place, it's broken change this to be different things. So we can change this to be 12 and minus 12. So now the pitch bend range is two octaves. You need to make sure that your synth is enabled to do that range. We can also make it so that it will only respond to certain input channels. We can set this to different CCs to emulate pitch bend, any of the controls on your controller and assign them to work as pitch bend. So I could take channel after touch. You can actually have different controls for up and down, which is kind of interesting. So let's try channel after touch. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. And I've got the range set to uh, 12 semitones. So let's see how that goes. So that pitch bend is just from pressing the key harder. You can also reverse the direction. So minus 12, let's say minus 12 up to plus six. Mm -hmm. 
And that's kind of weird because the pitch actually drops down um, as you apply any pressure to it. So that's all I wanted to show you. Just this really cool, useful pitch wheel control center plugin. It made my keyboard useful again. And so I wanted to share that and uh, maybe you'll find this useful as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.